Afternoon, lovely viewer. Well, today we're gonna to do a tour of the entire garden. I hope some of my roses are in full flush. Some of them are yet to get there and some of them are just a little bit over. But I think at this moment in time, this is as, as good as my garden's gonna look. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do it an entire tour. This here, you know, it's summer romance. I have got some more out the front summer romance that are doing much better but this gets limited sun here and it was planted bare root just this winter but she's doing fine for limited sun she gets no morning sun at all and probably doesn't get sun till about two o'clock in the afternoon but summer romance doing very well very pleased even with even with the one out the back here now <clears throat> this here is Gertrude you know this rose this is probably just a little bit beyond its perfect sort of state a little bit over there's still some buds coming through but even here i can smell i can smell the uh, fragrance radiating coming from it i think people know i've been very happy with with gertrude this year lovely fragrance pompanella from cordes she still isn't doing her thing <laughs> she's been stuck there for a while but I'm hoping she's going to climb up climb up there but we're still we're still waiting on Pompanella and I was going to go to Westerland but you can't you can't walk past rose sweet honey you just can't and each time I look at this rose I can't help but believe she was planted this year she was planted this year and absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful now i have deadheaded many roses but uh, many flowers from from this shrub but and there was some damage here i spoke about that before cool looks like my camera's playing up today but very upright growth if there was fragrance to this rose i would gladly have this rose planted throughout throughout my garden but sadly no fragrance that's the only the only problem with it and this here is rose westerland and this is probably this is probably as fine as he will look climbing rose planted again these roses that i've got out the back here most of them have been planted just recently most of my flowers as you know most of my roses are out the front but this is rose westerland a lovely sort of peachy peachy orangey sort of color that kind of holds in the in the sunlight but that's probably as good as he will as he will look <clears throat> and another baby eden rose eden rose and i'm going to try and get a, a close-up of the flower if i can looking very nice and these these flowers they do tend to last a long time it must be I must be getting two weeks out of these flowers, certainly approaching two weeks. No fragrance, but even rose. I'm hoping the two I've got are gonna climb up here, one that side and one that side. I don't know if you can see that wire there. Have it growing across there. I think that'll, that'll look nice. Rose Uterson there. There's not much change there. You've seen that one, but this one here is Brother Cadfall, David Austin Rose. And you can see, Gav, that um, that we have got, we've got a flower that's that's opened. <laughs> yeah, we've got some fragrance. We've got fragrance there, Gav. But again, it's, it's newly planted. I have supported this with a stake because this monster came here going up. I thought it's only a matter of time before that gets hit in the hitting the wind but very happy very happy gav very happy with all the recommendations that you've that you've put there's my wife sunning it up lording it up and this here is rose boscobel now i want to show you the two boscobels out the front i've said before this one here it gets it gets less sun and it hasn't done as well i have deadheaded this several times but it still hasn't done it hasn't done as well, but you can see there. 
a lovely flower. Oh, a lovely fragrance, but we'll see the ones out the front in a, in a little while. And here, James Galway. Again, newly planted, newly planted. It's in a baseless pot, same as some of the other roses I've got at the back that you've already seen. But this is a rose. I'm, um, I'm surprised, lovely fragrance. I'm surprised at how long these flowers last. For a David Austin rose, I must be getting over a, over a week out of James Galway. And for me, for me at least, that's a, that's a lovely fragrance. And there's still, there's still more flowers to, to come through. Rose in the shade. This doesn't get sun till maybe two, three o'clock in the, in the afternoon. I mean, in fact, it will be just after one. And that's in the shade line there as the sun comes over the top. So it gets no, it gets no morning sun. Horse Himalayan musk. That is just over. I think it's still hanging on for dear life, but I think we've seen we've seen the most out of Paul's Himalayan musk now. Once flower, and I do get a nice fragrance from this as I as I walk past here. But that's done. That's done very well. Right, let's get out the front. Where should we start? Where shall we start? In fact, let's let's start up here. Because there's, I did say there's some, there's some, um, I've just noticed the delivery van and I'm pretty sure he's going to be for me. This is made of Kent. This is made of Kent. And I don't know if you're going to see that. <laughs> A gazillion buds, an absolute gazillion buds all the way throughout. It's growing from, from here. The next door have allowed it to come over there as well and it's just starting to it's just starting to come through so there's some time to go on this one as yet so that's good gertrude here has um she's gone over she's getting ready for her second flush and this one here is lady of shallot this is newly planted this year she's in a baseless pot as well hold on a minute you gotta check this out <laughs> you're right. Hello, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers. Don't tell the wife. Lady of Shalot. Beautiful. Cheers. Thank you. She's come up to the top of the top of the hedge here, and that's fantastic. That really is beautiful. And only planted this year is in a baseless pot the roots will go down but I'm I'm happy with that and I've noticed that I didn't think it had a fragrance at all but it has got just a very a very light fragrance Lady of Shalott very pleased with that Rose right now let's get to the timeless collection this is the timeless collection all around here and I think this is Timeless Charisma. And this is the first time I've smelt this. Now, I know that today it seems to be we've had a good couple of days of, a few days of fine weather. I think we've got good fragrance day today, but I'm going in. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm not getting too much today at this moment in time. But I did, I did mention on a, a comments to an earlier question, I'm trying to establish when is the earliest time, the earliest time to take a cutting from a rose if rain is forecast? I've said before that some of these, uh, particularly the German roses that I have, the flowers, they seem to last longer, but the development of the buds here, it seems to, it seems to take longer as well, if that makes sense. Sluggish sort of um, development and it's at this time here, the flowers, they're, they're vulnerable to the rain. So if rain is forecast, at what time, what is the earliest moment that you can take them as a cutting to bring them inside to save them and they will still flower? Does that make sense? That's what I'm trying to, 
establish. So if you see a bud during this video and you, you see something, you think, right, that's the earliest stage you can do it. Like this one, for instance, I imagine if you cut that, that's not gonna flower. I imagine that's not gonna flower either. But if you know, please do let me know in the, in the comments. But yeah, most of these um, timeless collection are yet to flower. Now this one here is timeless purple and she is coming into flower now. And I can tell you now that I'm impressed with the fragrance. Yeah, lovely. Timeless purple. I'm impressed with the with the fragrance of this rose and a lovely, a lovely, lovely flower. Great cut flower. Timeless purple is certainly doing it for me. And this one here is timeless cream. Beautiful, beautiful rose. I have smelt this rose several times already if you can get it to focus properly but it's um i'm only getting a light fragrance i'm only getting a light fragrance from it but a lovely a lovely rose to to look at it really is lovely a lovely rose look at that no you see i'm not getting i'm not getting much fragrance from that but this one has started to just started to come in I've had a couple of flowers from it already and timeless purple, timeless purple also. But let's go outside into the lane. Now, there is a diversion in place at the moment. There might be traffic going past, but I'm gonna try and be out here as quickly as I can. This is Gabriel Oak. And I think this is its second, possibly third summer. And I have to say, I'm impressed with it this year. I really am. Last year, I was a bit disappointed, but I think it's one of those things, It's just it was just a little bit sluggish on its growth initially, which has to be expected, really. But now it's um, it really is coming into its own, and yeah, it's got lovely, a lovely fragrance. It really has, and uh, it's really started to take off now. Strong growth coming up. Now, this here, I've got Eustacea Vi here. What, one, four, four is it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four of them. And I have to say that this year, I've been a little disappointed with Eustacea Vi. For whatever reason, oh, still a lovely fragrance though. For whatever reason, she hasn't performed well for me this year. She hasn't given me that many roses that many flowers now i have obviously cut i've deadheaded all of these and i'm um, giving it a, a bit of a, a trim ready for the second flush but that first flush eustacea vi this year for me wasn't fantastic which i guess you, you've got to expect that for a, a certain amount of roses you know they're not not all of your roses i guess are going to perform the same level each year Maybe that's the maybe that is the case, but certainly that's what I am that's what I am seeing. But Roll Doll is um, she's getting ready for her. He's getting ready for his second flush. That's a nice one there. I don't know if you're going to see that. Roll Doll. Right, let's um, let's go out here. Let's go out into the lane. And there is just um, right. Here's Oscar Bell. Here is Rose Boscobel. I can't see my screen too well because of the because of the sun. But you see how much better these are doing. And bearing in mind, oh, it's a lovely fragrance. Bearing in mind that um, I have deadheaded many of these uh, Boscobels. There's two here, one there and one there. One is three years old and one is two years old. And I've deadheaded many. But you see the growth of these here. That's got morning sun. All this row here the front of the house it all gets full morning sun but they're doing a lot better but boscobel it is a rose that they say it needs it needs full sun bliss perfumer another rose it's fragrance very magnetic like boscobel light fragrance but i said it in a in a previous video light fragrance but very magnetic lovely lovely flavor to its fragrance Olivia Rose Austin, you know. Cool, the light here is, is not great. 
Olivia Rose Austin. Lovely. Right, this here, champagne moment. Nick, this one's for you. There she is. You see that? Queen of Sweden next to champagne moment. Now, champagne moment, it's, um, it's flowers. They are large. They are large. Can you see that? This one's gone over. I was about to say, oh, there's another one behind it. I didn't see. Its flowers are large and they look like they're not going to last very long. But in actual fact, Champagne Moment, its flowers, they, um, they seem to be lasting longer than I was anticipating. Queen of Sweden. Another one. Perfect. I have cut Queen of Sweden back. It's one of those roses that, um, you know, some are going to hit full flush. At different times, some are gonna, some are gonna go over. I can't walk past that flower there. Surely not. Beautiful. Right. <clears throat> now, John Middleton. I think it was you who spoke to me before about lilac wine, and um, I have to say, I am, I am kind of pleased with it it's an ADR award-winning rose so the you know the world judges they have deemed it good enough and who am I but I think in my garden I've, I've got there's a question mark and the reason being I've left some of these normally I would deadhead this but I wanted to show you the buds they do seem to get they do seem to get rotted in the, the wet weather that I have here and if you look at the the flowers some of them there they're coming through deformed see there's another one there I don't know if that's going to focus coming through a bit deformed so I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure about lilac wine now the fragrance very difficult to pin down if you look online no one kind of commits to a flavor of fragrance and I've read so many different things with regards to this roses fragrance light but heady whatever that means um, four stars out of five and no one no one seems to be giving it a flavor but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say for me here today I'm gonna say that is light fragrance now this one here is much better I prefer this rose I'll have to put the name at the bottom it's joy something joy viella you see it's roses it's flowers they seem to be doing much better there's many of them it does seem to be it does seem to be doing well and this is a rose it's probably you won't see this rose better and that's why i wanted to, to come out today but very happy with this rose oh it's got a, a lovely fragrance as well still light light to medium maybe and diane boyd diane boyd that you that you saw that you saw me unbox very impressed with this rose Dark Desire, not in flower as yet. But here, we've got a new addition. We've got a new addition, and Gavi wanted proof. So here it is. Wow, powerful fragrance. It is, of course, Shandos Beauty. Hybrid tea. Harkness, I believe, are the rose breeder. <clears throat> and I put this in place of Iceberg. Iceberg, it, um, I did it a few years, and I decided to get rid of it in the in the end. You know, I want a rose that's got at least two of the recommendations. I really do. And I gave I gave Iceberg some time, but I'm tight for space. What I will say, in fact, from now on, when I plant a rose in a pot, I'm always going to use uh, John Innes number three. Because I've noticed when I pulled Iceberg out of its pot, it'd been in there for a few years, when I pulled Iceberg out, I noticed that even though I mixed the John Innes up with the uh, compost over those three year period, the John Innes number three, it, it kind of layered. John Innes number three, compost. John Innes number three, compost. It layered, I guess from me watering it, having it dry out, having it settle, having me water it, and it turned into layers. And where those layers were, the roots tended to congregate now it's not just iceberg i noticed that also on um claire austin when i unpotted that and uh, another rose as well i noticed it you get that layer now 
There's a few of my roses here I didn't use John Innes number three because um, it was quite difficult to get hold of it during lockdown. But here you go, here is Rose of the Year 2022. And this is, it's a beautiful life. And again, I'm not sure about this rose. And I say that through no fault of the rose, I just think where I am here in this kind of wetter climate, I've got the same thing going on. And that is the buds, I've left these buds on, but you see here, the buds are just getting damaged, water damaged. And then if you allow them to grow, they just grow a little bit deformed like that. So it's early days, of course it's early days. I'm not sure if this is gonna, if this is gonna make it in my garden, but it's got a, it's got a nice light fragrance. You see, deformed. And that is what we've got happening. In fact, this is a perfect example. You know, if rain is forecast, when, at what stage of development is the earliest, the safest, say right that, that will flower. It's good to take it when they see, I don't know what these things here are called. See these green things that the leaves as they unfold. When is the earliest moment when that rain is forecast that you can take this? Because particularly the German roses, they could be at this stage for, for some time and this stage for some time. And with a floral bundle, of course, it's much more difficult because you're always the different buds. Look, look at that perfect example. That's fully flowered. That hasn't even opened. That one started to open. If anyone could let me know the answer to that, if I've made myself clear, if anyone can put that into words, <coughs> that would be <coughs> much appreciated. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. The perfumer collection, I'm still waiting on. You see, look, let me let me prove it to you. These um these roses here, they can they can just stay. See all these buds here coming through, this is Earth Angel, just waiting to come through. All of these waiting to waiting to come through. And this here, Emily Bronte, Bronte. Yeah. New rose, but that is a that is a lovely fragrance. But I have to say this very quickly. This here is not Rose Laguna. I know I've done a video before saying it was Rose Laguna. I paid for Rose Laguna. The paperwork was for Rose Laguna. But it wasn't until someone I done a video a little while ago, this week I think it was, and said there was no fragrance. And I think the first comment come through and said they, you know, it was a fragrant rose. And because I said it wasn't fragrant, I thought there was something going on and it most definitely is not Rose Laguna. Rose Laguna is more of, of a pink and it has fragrance. So I have been refunded. They are sending me money and I have ordered a replacement Rose Laguna from Thompson & Morgan. So I'm hoping that will come through fine and dandy. See, here's my summer romances so impressed with these roses i have cut this back it's beyond its first flush now by the time i cut that off it will um it'll be then approaching its its second flush but there is just a rose here that i that i wanted to film there is only one rose it is early days but that there i'm not sure if that's going to come out it's just got the softest of pink in the middle it is an earth angel and I have seen a couple of these. Yeah, you see, I'm not getting much fragrance from that at all. I'm, I'm, I'm yet to get that powerful fragrance from earth angel. Maybe it will happen sooner or later. Let's see, summer romance, another one. Nice, nice fragrance. Right, shall we, shall we have a look in the box? Shall we have a look in the box? Do you want to guess what it is? The guy's just delivered it. I mean, how was that for timing? Oh, I'm going to need a pair of scissors. Oh, it does look good in there. It does look good. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to need a pair of scissors. No, I'm going to need some scissors for that. Right, look at that. Nearly 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Now, as you've seen, some of my roses have gone over first flush. Some are at first flush now and some are, they're not there yet.
but I think timing is is so difficult to get the, the timing just right. I've deadheaded many of these roses. You know, I guess we all want we all want our gardens to to be in full flush at the same time, but I'm not sure that it always that it always works. Always works that way. But look at this. <laughs> right, lovely viewer, that's enough. I can't go over 25 minutes. That's got to be a record. Right, lovely viewer, I hope you have a lovely day.